Hey kittens! Silver here with a new review video for you today and I will be discussing the Unitoys Tabby Cat as you can see from her little hang tag here and this particular cat actually comes in two different colors I opted for this orange or ginger colored cat but she also is available in a gray color as well um, absolutely identical to this in every detail except the color but uh, as you might know from seeing some of my earlier videos, I do have a strong preference for ginger cats in general. So uh, so I had to go for this particular one. I, I had debated getting the gray one as well, but um, for now I'm just uh, <laughs> I'm sticking with this one because uh, I have quite a little clan going on as it is already. But um, anyway, this particular cat is actually uh, referred to as a mackerel tabby cat. And at first I thought that that was some kind of weird mistranslation but as it turns out mackerel tabbies are actually a real thing um, they're uh, they're so named because of sort of this distinctive M shape on their foreheads which you can see very clearly on this particular plush um, and they have these nice sort of tiger like stripes that run perpendicular to their spine so uh, nice accurate representation of the breed and this particular cat is about uh, about 14, almost 15 inches in length from, from her front feet to her back feet, and probably about 17 or so inches if you include the tail. And she's made from a very nice, soft material. And the coloring is really nice. You have this very light, pale, uh, sort of almost cream-colored uh, fur underneath and then the darker orange striping along her back and really along her entire body. And she's got the, uh, the paws tipped in white and the pink thread little, um, little claws. And she has a nice, very nice shade of pale sort of cornflower blue eyes. And you can see these, uh, Oop, these airbrush markings, one here and one on the side. It almost sort of gives her a little bit of like a, a harlequin appearance, I feel like, these these particular markings. It's, it's really cool. And I like, um, I sort of like the fact that the proportions of the face are different from most other tabby cats that you see. Uh, she's got like, I guess you'd say maybe a little bit of like a wider muzzle than, um, than your typical tabby cat plush. But that definitely gives her a very distinctive and unique look. Um, and she's got a really sweet face, I think, as well. Uh, she's got a pink plastic nose. And again, you see some more airbrush markings here. And her mouth is made from pink thread. A little bit frowny, so she looks you know, she looks a little bit glum sometimes. But, <laughs> but I promise she's, she's happy. She's being well taken care of. Um, and then we have the... Uh, the airbrush markings uh, along the edges of her ears right there and she's got some nice soft white fluffy fur uh, underneath her chin and on, on her chest and down her belly as well and she is I would say uh, she, she's fairly floppy um, she's made from a nice uh, soft material and she she does have squish to her for sure um, I do feel some beans in her back end yeah, and some yeah, even in her midsection a little bit um, near the back. Uh, she may have some. Well, actually, I don't. I don't really. Maybe yeah. Maybe she does have some beans in the uh, in the ends of her paws uh, for a little extra weight. Um, but as far as floppiness, yeah, she's not super floppy. Um, definitely not stiff. But yeah, no, she does have a little bit of movement to her. But um, the texture of the fur is really nice. Um, definitely, definitely feels very good to stroke. Uh, and I think she just has a very sweet expression. Um, and she's, like I said, just sort of different from your typical tabby plush cat. Um, and as I said, she is also available in a, a gray coloring if, uh, if you prefer that as well. Um, and since she's a Unitoys plush that means that she was uh, manufactured and made in Germany so that would be the best place to look for her um, eBay Germany 
is where I got this particular cat and she may still be available there. Um, I'm sure there's, there's sellers that still carry this, this particular cat plush. I, I don't think she was in short supply uh, the last that I looked, um, but she's reasonably priced. Um, and yeah, I would definitely recommend her if, uh, if you're a fan of tabby cats. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will be back again with some more plush goodness for you very soon. Bye everybody.